Hello gamers, this is Pet from GamerPet.com and I'm here to present you with a software today. Uh, one of my missions, as you might know, is to show people good games and good stuff in general. I'm not going to uh, limit myself only to games. So one thing that I, find I found pretty useful, especially if you're using two or more monitors, is a, is a program called Display Fusion. Now, normally I have two monitors, actually I have three monitors, but my third one sometimes is not turning up, it's not getting the trailer, so I need to unplug and plug it back in, but it doesn't matter. I'm using two right now, as you can see, my first one and both of them, so you will have uh, an idea. Now, you might ask me what the hell is this program doing and why do I need it? Well, on Windows 7, the multi-monitor support for Windows is not really that great. For once, you don't have a taskbar on the second monitor. Yeah, and that can be very annoying. Uh, you're using multiple programs, uh, and they will all just be clumped up into your main uh, taskbar. As you can see, the taskbar for XSplit, the program that I'm using right now to record, is sitting here. If I move XSplit, uh, on this side, it just moved here, which is super, super useful. And only with this small feature, feature, the future, future, feature, feature, uh, <laughs> the whole program is worth the money uh, because this can save you a lot of time. And um, I want to actually show you what other stuff this, programs, this program can do. One very useful thing is that you can um, move a window from one monitor to another if you click the middle mouse button on the top of the window, like right here, boof, boof, useful. It's it's rising your productivity actually, and uh, this is something that I'm always looking for because when you work, when you have to do videos and all that stuff, you kind of want to be super effective. Why? Because you have all those small stuff that you need to accomplish, and you want to accomplish those small stuff as fast as possible so you can get to the fun you so you can get to the creative part of the whole thing so let's see exactly what this program display fusion does besides adding a new taskbar well one thing since we're talking about the taskbar what one thing that i like about this program uh, i used another program before that uh, this program is actually also adding a clock and the date like the system tray that you can see here and also that uh, show desktop icon. Why I love this is that uh, sometimes I'm having a game in the main monitor, but I still want to see the clock, so I will just look onto the second monitor. I don't need to install a program or a Windows gadget or anything like that. I can even sh make him show the system tray or even um, you know a start, you know the Windows start thingy. Uh, and you do that by right-clicking here, multi-monitor taskbar, you can change shortcuts, size, positions, and all that stuff. I'm leaving it to, to default. And look, uh, you can set up start bottom, I will set it to left, and bam, now I have start stuff here. Which is useful, super, super useful. I will just hide it, uh, because I don't need a start button on my second monitor. Uh, Start button disabled. So as you can see, there are a lot of options. And uh, let's see what else is new. Options start with Windows. Check for updates automatically. The update process is pretty simply painless. Uh, not too many stuff. Uh, thing that they are using is desktop wallpaper. Uh, I don't actually use this because I don't actually need it. But basically you can set up um, different wallpapers for each monitor that you're using and it is not possible normally on Windows uh, you will basically have the same wallpaper on, wallpaper on both monitors you can uh, make a long wallpaper that will start from here and then to here or you can simply mirror the wallpaper or you can have wall one wallpaper here another wallpaper here or different colors and all that stuff you can you can create different profiles so you can load them uh, faster like work wallpaper fun wallpaper or whatever you want there are different uh, settings which i'm not going to go over each of them because uh, this is more of a sh short video <laughs> i'm trying to make it as short as possible but you can um, import wallpapers from your computer 
or from uh, DeviantArt, uh, Flickr or uh, other software like Google Image Search and you can actually make the program to load from different uh, wallpapers so th they will go um, into a number of wallpapers and changing them every 10 minutes or whatever anyway I don't actually use this that often actually I don't think I use it at all <laughs> anyway functions a pretty pretty fun thing is that you can use shortcut keys to send a window to the n to a new monitor and this is like super useful I, I already told you that thing that you can use with the middle mouse button if you click uh, here I can just uh, send it but uh, you can also do this by pressing um, look move window to center monitor uh, control win Q look look how nice this was move window to next monitor control win X and now you can't see it okay control A, oop, boop 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 useful it's useful I might, uh, some of you might not realize how helpful this is to learn a couple of screens or uh, a couple of shortcuts it it really improves on how fast you are doing all this small stuff and there are a lot of possible uh, shortcuts that you can set up taskbar and other multi monitor test bars apply uh, okay you, you can't see this but bam I disable this and this is how Windows behaves normally you have no test bar here and the split who is on the second monitor is here and this is like huge this is like huge so let's enable it back because I want it because it's the most useful thing ever uh, taskbar mode, different style, window style, preview disabled, uh, taskbar opacity and you can even use the classic shell or the start menu X I I forgot what those are exactly but you can uh, customize on how you know, th these are start menu replacements you can change the start menu um, to some other stuff it's uh, an external program anyway taskbar shortcuts Jesus Christ more shortcuts oh oh another thing I just I just remembered you can actually set up an application that when you open that application that application is going to open into the second monitor or like the third monitor or whatever which is useful because usually the applications open in the main monitor and for example if you know that the if you want Photoshop to always open into the second monitor you can just set it up right here or same thing with the website but um, this is another this is another thing like for example add a website website U URL I can just do this okay and now I have a shortcut and save and apply and I do have a shortcut to my website on this new taskbar so you can create different shortcuts uh, like this useful really really useful add folder add file remove save um, another thing that you can do is change the logon uh, image you know when you log in uh, you can change that blue background to whatever you want this is kind of useful for corporations and so on I personally just made a green background to match my website you know this green that I use for the gamerpad.com website small thing but useful again clip mode uh, color mode load from my computer load from Flickr and so on screensaver and who do, do you guys still use screensavers but anyway I think uh, yeah you can set up different screensavers for different monitors and uh, so on window snapping this is kind of fun you know that when you want to position a window look let me actually show it like this I, and I want this window to be on um, top left corner poof, poof. it snaps it automatically snaps poof you can't okay eh. small and super useful uh, feature like, like let's show it to you better okay 100 pixels which is a lot so boom it snaps <laughs> useful it really seems like a small feature but it's kind of 
important when you're using more monitors because sometimes in the second monitor you need to clump up about three windows like for example when I'm live streaming this is the reason why I have three monitors I, I need to keep my x -speed window active because I need to know if I'm dropping frames or if I'm still streaming right and uh, sometimes when I'm changing scenes I need to know exactly on what scene I am and I need to keep a preview and um, sometimes I'm putting x -Wing in the corner and another thing that I want to keep uh, track of is the chat when I'm live streaming so I need x here, chat here uh, maybe you want to, I'm having a StarCraft 2 overlay where I keep the score which also is on the screen it's, it's kind of messy and uh, using something like uh, snapping is useful window management enable maximum, yeah you can basically maximize windows across the field uh, across the your monitors and uh, show monitor selection while dragging I'm not sure if you I forgot how this was exactly yeah I forgot exactly how this was basically when I, you are dragging a window you will be able to see monitor 1 monitor 2 doesn't make too much sense now but window location and this is uh, what I told you you can force application to open into a monitor so you just add I uh, look an application, select an application, let's say uh, um, Steam, okay, and I want Steam to open into monitor 2 and whenever I will open Steam it will open in monitor 2 useful, useful languages, the program is available into a lot of languages compatibility, I have no idea what this is, this is the license key where you will put it, I will not click that and troubleshoot where you'll we'll be able to see a lot of stuff in case you are you, you have problems so this is a pretty quick look at a pretty sophisticated program uh, I'm not going to go as I said I'm, I don't want to go over each of the configuration but uh, the these are the main things that are super useful for me the fact that I have a taskbar on the second monitor the fact that I can have um, shortcut keys in order to move uh, the software to a new monitor like I'm not touching the mouse I'm only pressing the buttons useful so useful um, I like the Windows logon thing that I can customize it and um, the window snapping small and useful and as I've said pretty useful so if you want to check this software just go to uh, displayfusion.com and uh, you will be able to purchase the program from there there is a free version uh, that has some limitation but a pro version standalone license license cost $25 and it's not really that much and another thing is that uh, the program is available on Steam you can actually purchase the program from Steam and this is how I actually found out about this program and uh, this company actually has different software that are kind of useful useful uh, one is a clipboard manager which I'm not going to cover now so this is it for uh, this episode I hope you found uh, this program useful and uh, I hope you found this uh, video useful so thank you guys again for watching this see you in my next uh, video bye